Helena's mother has trouble soothing her as an infant. Whenever Alicent is seen holding her Helena constantly cries. Ten years later, Helena examines a centipede as her mother sits beside her, listing facts about the insect. Her brother Amond is then brought in after being retrieved from the dragon pit. As Alicent interrogates him, Helena quietly says to herself that the last ring on the centipede has no legs at all. When she hears her mother tell Amond that he will have a dragon one day, Helena states that he will have to close an eye. Later, during a small council meeting, Rhaenyra proposes a marriage between her eldest son Jacarys Velaryon and Helena as a way of bridging the gap between two branches of House Targaryen. While Viserys seems interested in the idea, Alicent furiously refuses it when he brings it up after the meeting. During Lena Velaryon's funeral, Aegon and Aemond discuss the former's betrothal to Helena as she studies a spider and mutters cryptically about flesh dragons weaving thread dragons of black and green, and then proceeds to crush the spider with a seashell. Aegon laments their betrothal, considering her an idiot, while Aemond states that he would do his duty if he were betrothed to her. Later, Helena flies back to King's Landing on her dragon dreamfire. Six years later, Helena and Aegon are married and have two children together, J. Ares and J. Hyra. Helena walks in on a conversation between Alicent and Aegon, asking where their household servant Diana is as she is supposed to dress the children, unaware that Diana has just been raped by Aegon. Alicent hugs Helena afterwards. A disinterested Helena hears the petitions of Vaymond Velaryon and Rhaenyra on behalf of her son Lucerys Velaryon over the succession to Driftmark. When her father enters the Great Hall to defend Rhaenyra, Helena smiles. Moments later, she covers her ears in shock as her uncle Daemon beheads Vaymond after he calls out the bastardy of Rhaenyra's children. Helena has dinner with her family that night. Following Rhaenyra's, Alicent's, and Jacka Eris's toasts, Helena cryptically mutters to beware the beast beneath the boards under her breath before making her own toast to her cousins Bela and Rhaena, who have been betrothed to Jacarys and Lucerys. She tells them that marriage isn't so bad, and makes a veiled jape at Aegon, saying that the husband mostly ignores the wife except for when he's drunk, which gets a laugh from Demon. After the musicians start playing, Jace asks Helena for a dance, which she happily accepts. The happy dance is interrupted by Aemon smashing his fist on the table to make his own toast, calling his nephews, strong. Helena almost claps, not understanding that the comment refers to Jace's rumored father, the deceased Harwin Strong, but stops herself when Jace takes offense. 